Hey guys, it's Shadow. Let's play through the Voices of Babylon campaign. The small city-state of Babylon is growing under the energetic leadership of its new king, Hammurabi. You have been sent down river to bring some enclaves of Sumerians and Akkadians into the fold. Use your powers of persuasion when you can, but do not hesitate to resort to war if they prove to be resistant. Nice and quick intro. Alright, let's go and, uh... Usually this mission would be very slow paced, but I remember absolutely loving this as a kid and converting everything. Hey, their scores are increasing very quickly. It might just be from scouting, though. Alright. Wait. Lion's gonna try and attack me? Honk you with my star. So I remember correctly, you try and convert a villager straight away. If you try and convert military straight away, you'll lose the priest. If there's not only just the one, there's very rarely ever just the one uh, military. Alright, let's go and say hi to the Akkadians. Wow, that was a really fast conversion. Not sure if I meant to build it this close to their base, but hey. I'll make uh, future villager captures more easy. We get myself a second one. I think if you start by converting the Sumerians easier in some way, because the Sumerians are a lot stronger. It's been so long since I played this mission. I don't really remember. I try and push these in if I can. Wait, did I screw them up completely by uh, taking a first couple? I'm not even able to take it to that granary. Oh, I feel like the AI might actually be screwed when, if you convert too early. Whoops. Well, they are starting to fix that a little bit now. I think I used to try and play this mission without making a single Fire and Villager. They have increased carry capacity on the civil, it's just that might just be them dropping off a smaller amount. There are a few things more fun than using a single priest to convert an entire population, like in this game. No! These are mine. Not mine yet, but they are mine. No, stop it. Still a very long price of trying to push that all the way back to my base. Alright, let's do that. Alamas, 
Well, the AI would start attacking me by now. But I'm glad they are because I don't have anything to defend. I think you can actually use villagers to take out the Guardian entirely if I run the TC like that. Alright, let's get three more, and then I think we just focus on trying to help. Maybe four more. Hi! So I heard you wanted to be part of a uh, new civilization. There doesn't seem to be any, uh, what's it called that I can see? Oh no. No attack? Okay, cool. Uh, elephants I can see. I'm just gonna keep the guardians alive a bit longer. I feel like they can still be kind of useful in terms of converting more stuff. Ah, Brett's had enough. Attack the enemy units! Wanker. Alright, well. We do manage to convert like 10 villages essentially. Gonna mark it straight away. Just destroy TC and they'll resign. We need to any messier than that. Pretty sure this is a um. Oh, you can actually go up to the age after this. Never mind. I think we should manage to keep access to that priest who was doing great work for so long. More important to keep these running than it is a uh, TC at this point. In fact, we will be deleting villages somewhat soon. What do the Babylonians get for bonuses? Oh, okay, nothing that exciting in terms of delayed military. I don't expect them to get some sort of Bowman bonus. Well, that was actually more natural critic I got. Bronze Age, for crap, we go. But I can't really stop producing them. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Run, run, is so evil, buddy. Have a doctor. Have a doctor. 
Oh yeah, she even have uh, ships. Well, that could have been good actually. Buying for ships rather than. Oh, what's it called? Rather than bombs in the first age. There must be somewhere they're raiding from, right? I just get this. Oh no, that's. We can go up. They don't seem to be getting any further upgrades, so they might not have to do the next stage anyway. Really? Oh, this, is, this is why you're meant to scout, right? They're not looking around like an absolute moron for half an hour for where your opponent's gonna be. Must have been here. I just one they've been coming from different directions though. Probably making a scout as well wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to add. Alright, let's get wheel in straight away and then we get the wood upgrade, which I should have got a bit sooner. Oh, Babylonians get them cheaper. Didn't quite realize that. Oh, uh, yeah. And chariot archers. One of the best units you can make, basically. Uh, this should be used for the chariot archers as well. There's camels and chariot archers. And um, we'll send these in. And do a bit of damage before. Oh, that damage bonus is nothing. Holy crap, they have a little armor. They're in trouble. Not enough upgrades either. Need that. That. Use distractions. We had just how bullshit chariots are on this. Too fast. 
sein, so. Basically no other unit to me. <laughs> other than chariots and chariot archers in this sort of scenario. Wait, do I get I think I get one beer song not three, that's actually kinda nice. That'll be an ability. Fishing economy, of course. Still not great, but it's better than nothing. Might as well. <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> of the Sumerian and Akkadian cities to the rising Babylonian Empire pleases Hammurabi greatly. Now he sets a more difficult task for you. One of our frontier cities was recently sacked and important treasures, including a copy of Hammurabi's law code engraved in stone, were carried off to the Tigris River. Chase the raiders to where the treasures were taken and build up a force to recover them. They must not be allowed to move the treasures upstream. The prestige of your great king remains tarnished for as long as these treasures remain in enemy hands. Wonder what the modern equivalent of that would be. Be like getting robbed and then like your prestige has been ruined rather than your security has been. Wow, oh, you really start with nothing. I hope there's some um, accessible fish. Nice. How good does two? Is it just not food around here? Uh, that was gonna be my um, area where I place all my houses, but I'll have to do that. Oh. I wonder if it's going to be a full water style opening or if it's a bit of everything. Okay, so there is some natural food as well and I think the stone's going to be important here. 
Okay, so it's a full water map. That actually simplifies things a little bit. to military production, or military ship production I should say. I even do an early transport as well. Hmm. Or maybe two more fishing ships. We really don't have any other food to collect at the moment. with that as well. Oh, looks like they're actually buying resources. I I have the gold so I could do that. I'd rather just keep it. right now. <laughs> Looks like three, yeah, three more houses on the other box space. Cool. At least as many um, clothes that we can get anyway. I think we'll do six more villagers. As I add a few farms as well. The problem is that these are so expensive, initially. <laughs> Found the chariot arches. So I want another one there. I want to start taking that food or... I feel like it's a bit late by the time I just like placing farms to some extent. Do this well against uh, scout ships. They do also have more range though, and the AI is very much playing with that range. Yeah. 
that in. Jumps, jumps. I think I'm gonna run There hasn't been any reason to build one though, I guess. Uh, government sensors. Let's say let's get wheel. Uh, oh, yeah. And we'll have that as well. I'm not having to the raiding part of uh, the Elamite Raiders or Abel lie to the other one. They have not been really doing any raiding whatsoever. Hmm. Little TC here, why not? It's our island. I don't know how many you need on wood to sustain this amount of wood pro uh, ship production. Hmm. I don't know how that range is. And I also think I now double that, yeah, double the damage they have. Granary tech in. So we won't worry too much about doing that again. Yeah, you tell that wall how you feel about our existence. This mission is completely broken or something. In the fourteen of the mission. The auto reset on for one of the farms we actually have now because uh, got rid of the most of them. over there. I think I've seen this mission be a uh, speedrun actually, now that I think about it. 
I don't think it was a particularly difficult one either at that. Didn't even bother with any of these upgrades in the end. I need one type of them though. But that was painful to get that to bar. Yeah, it really doesn't know what to do when you do that to them. <laughs> I'm doing like one map at a shot, it's fine. That's only with one upgrade. Kinda of insane how different uh, Clubman and Axeman are in terms of how good they are being. They kill those villagers as well. Heartless. And somehow those still haven't died. By my best efforts to that one. The last red one? Probably. There we go. GG. Disaster has struck. A Hittite army has marched down the shore of the Euphrates River and sacked Babylon. Although your party is isolated among enemies in the marshlands, this is our only hope for exacting vengeance on the raiders. A Hittite force remains in the area, trying to gather more loot. Clear your enemies from the marshlands and burn the Hittite encampment to the ground. I did not realize, or didn't remember how much extra armor the uh, catapults had, so I tried to fight the catapults and ended up dying horrendously. Let's give that another go. Please? Oh, oh, nice. Did I just glitch it out? I can just glitch that out. Oh. Never mind. We're taking our way out. What's this conversion time? Jesus. I'm probably not so fun, but I was hoping to have the second one to make this a little bit easier. Basically, the aim is to distract the catapults with uh, one while we convert the with the other. We then eggs. Use the catapult to kill the other catapult, ideally. And we don't kill the villager in the process. Oh, 
everything that we absolutely need to do to make this start actually possible. Very interesting concept, but the problem is I don't really give you any pointers whatsoever. And I go, cool, good luck to you, have fun. <laughs> uh, so many these off as well. We can build multiple TCs, so we'll build one and uh, here well off with. I think, yeah, we can be annoying here at least. Hey, we have a couple of fishing ships. Once we have them, uh... Oh, that'd be so annoying. I'm not trying to kill him, please. Should put my uh, that's what's somewhere different. Very strong to start off with. Maybe I'm not meant to be hitting this early. I have. Very nice. The fishing ships are so different to the fishing boats. I don't know if they were always in the game or if uh, that's only since the splash of the game has been here.
I don't expect them to be necessarily um, super strong, but I wasn't going to be this week, so I don't know. Oh, is that a ballista tower as well? <laughs> The white man is a bit too strong. But I think... Literally everything that's keeping them alive. Wow, GG. <laughs> Following the Hittite sack of Babylon, the city has come under the dominion of the Kassites, who have controlled it for nearly 500 years. Kassite rule is in danger, however because of Elamite and Assyrian intrusions. Another Elamite army is pressing forward at this moment and is moving to take Babylon. If the city cannot be held, you are to save what you can, retreat down river and build up a new army. When you are prepared, retake the city of Babylon and destroy the invading Elamites. I actually wonder how many times Babylon was sacked. Oh, we're escaping again, I can't. I don't even start with resources this time, stingy bastards. Oh, okay. I even get to keep these as well, which is quite handy. They're not gonna push me here. Probably shouldn't even blame, but it just feels kind of strange that they wouldn't push that. Those houses won't last too long, so let's go cancel out. What's the problem? See if we can find someone to be annoying with these. Hmm. I don't remember which is that to be. Alright, that should be enough houses for now. Syrians are the ones that have the extra range on the everything, I think. Is that all the fish there is? Jeez. Oh, 
Ooh, nothing to see here. Let's see if we can kill that Caliphorn. I kind of need that to mock me though. Oh, I do that. Oh. Oh, a little bit cheeky, too cheeky though. That's the sort of damage I was looking for. Oh. I'll probably explore the rest of this island a bit better. For some reason they're leaving that other part of the island completely intact. Should be looking at adding uh, military ships now. Considering that's gonna last much longer. Nothing to see that. Wait, can I can get true amazes by the way? That sucks. The market. I'm hoping to get to the Lister Tower or have the Lister Tower already. That's not gonna happen. I guess the reason I think the Babylonians are very good in Navy is when they start the or something. I just ended up finding some other places to go at. It doesn't even look like we get catapult to remains as an option. It's really government center. So much harder than it used to be to kill those. Okay, 
to give uh, the fishing ship an upgrade considering uh, at this point there's no fish to even take anymore. <laughs> there's no fish traps in this game so that also contributes a bit. Did I the um did I lose the transport or I lost the transport? Oh that's why I did. Normally, you'd be a little more worried about the amount of stuff I'm losing. Alright, these five are gonna make the merry way. These five are also gonna make the merry way, and these ones are gonna go there. Make a bit of a landing. Need to start facing those farms pretty badly now. Kind of winning even without all that though. Open up. I should build anything on. Maybe I'll just build up here. Design after exploring the town center for like similar missions, then GG. <laughs> That's that in. I haven't built a university. That was a temple. I always. Every time I try and build a temple, I build the opposite. I think it's because they just look so similar to me. This is just for extra credit. <laughs> GG. The glory of Babylon has been restored by the reconquest of lands formerly lost to the Elamites and by ejecting the foreign Kassite rulers from our territories. However, King Nebuchadnezzar I vows that taking back former Babylonian land is not enough. The Elamites must feel his wrath in their homeland. Nebuchadnezzar I has ordered you to attack Susa, the capital of the Elamites, just across the Karun River. In one of their previous raids, the Elamites carted off a golden statue of the most important god of the Babylonians, Marduk. Your task is to recapture it to strengthen Nebuchadnezzar's legitimacy back home. Peoples long oppressed by the Elamites will give you aid in your quest if you can locate them. I absolutely hate fixed forces scenarios, and this is no uh, different. Oh. We lost uh, one of the second transport, which meant we basically have to restart. Because there's no other way to fix it off that point. I don't mind losing to some other things, but losing to that. Oh, actually, says Alpha on it. That's why these things attack you. 
Aim here is don't really care much about the axe one. Keep the uh omen alive. I don't want to play through this going so well as well. Alright, should be a small amount of army to clear. Last time I tried not to uh, slowly fight for this area. Must fight as slow, like, well, I guess it's fighting technically. Or is this time we're just going to try and get through whatever we can? Not ideal. Could have been better. Try and keep as much of this alive as I can now. And heal everything. Yeah, it would help to have the extra line of sight a little bit though. Better fix that. Love how I was like, I don't really care about the axe one, of course, the axe one is the one I have the most left of. I made this war a little bit weaker somehow. Not the end of the world, but it definitely takes a bit longer than I feel like it should do. Or would ideally take, I guess. So, to get through these pretty alright. The next life oh. These are only watchtowers. Oh god. Can't do the transport again. These are sentries, right? Yeah. Can't die blows. I mean you can, but you won't get much through. I 
guess it gives us a chance to heal these, although it definitely slows down the mission considerably. I wonder if we can try and bait some of these units out behind this. Like, if I can bait them one by one, I can actually get some conversion to them. I need a couple more. That was down the bottom of that. As we get too close to the damn things. to gain units, not lose them. I don't think the second part of this easier though. Those are proper catapults. Run. It's actually really handy. The base is just traded up for you. Not much of an upgrade though. Uh, it's fairly decent actually. Not a big fan of that um, like compared to the Heliopolis. I should have more units alive this time I had last time. Alright, need to remember don't lose the damned transport. That happens again, I'm so mad. Way more seats than we probably even need. Let's put on that end of that and get ready to use my massive mods to get some more conversion. Should be a catapult around here somewhere that's gonna try and kill me. Alright, where 
where's the um, catapult? I think we just try and land with these. There's a ballista around here. Oh, there it is. Found it. over here. Yep. That blue open. Get across. I did like four trips to get all across. I wonder if I can try and be cheeky with the catapult. There's almost no HP. That light range. Oh, what does this about? Oh no, that's gonna kill it. Like a high stakes version of dodgeball. No, oh, that's just enough. <laughs> Let's not do that, please. Blood pressure does not need that right now. <laughs> oh, uh, we lost it, that's fine. Really not the end of the lot at this point. I have to do another hop after this anyway. I really struggle to find the next one to heal, don't I? Wouldn't have at least given us heavy transports. Wouldn't have really changed the mission much in terms of uh, anything other than increasing the pace of it slightly. That's not where I need to go, is it? Oh. Good. Oh, using transports is an infuriating experience. Do I land? Oh my god. It wouldn't be so bad if the line of sight wasn't also garbage. Oh god, okay. Essentially what I'm getting at getting here is that we need to try and land nearby and then make our way across. Mm. 
not the pay I think this is why I never finished a lot of the um, A1 campaigns as a kid, because you need a lot more patience for some of them. Not all of them. I think this is one of the ones that you need a bit more patience for. Oh god. something. I think ideally you actually want to go over there. Alright, I'm going so great. I think there's 25 of these that I came from. Where's a uh, oh, there's a still shitty boy still. Yeah, heavy transports here would have made such a big difference. And it would not have changed the overall field of mission at all. Well that's the difference between quality of life and uh, making things easier is this exact sort of uh, scenario. making a um, custom scenario where I tried to depict the Catalonian fields. The play day we turned I was obsessed with the hunts and the hunt campaign. I just absolutely loved it. Well that happened. Yep. Oh, we can just run through them. It's bothering me more, that's why I was being so careful. I really didn't want to have to restart this one again. And there we go. <laughs> that might have been the slowest light of a special cover. GG.
The raid into Elam was successful, and the statue of Marduk has been recovered, but it must be returned to Babylonia. There are still bands of Elamites and other enemies roaming the Zagros Mountains who wish to prevent the return of the statue. Bring the statue safely to your frontier temple where it can be guarded prior to being moved to Babylon. Another damned artifact mission. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of fixed horses again. These ones on elephants are about to eat here. Whoa! I didn't even know it was possible to convert that quickly. In any game. Ideally here we try and uh, convert the barracks I think. Oh, well, you forgot about that for a second. Ultimate not a lot because I'd end up uh, just trying to get to the late parts of the game where I don't really like them. Um, this, this level of the, you know. extra conversion resistance, so maybe I shouldn't be so worried. They even have that in. Oh, in this game, they're not set for tanks. I guess this is like a <laughs> this game's equivalent of a checkpoint. Yeah, 
soon we get rid of the towers if we can then have access to this. The other one. Oh, stop that is. Probably not. No. Nice, I didn't want it to be Start cleaning out towers one by one. Voice of Babylon campaign is amazing in parts of it. But then you get so many fixed forces scenarios on the side of it, which is a bit. I don't know. They're not the worst versions of the fixed forces scenarios I find, but I just found. as a general thumb. See what else is in here. Yep. Kind of amazing how monks basically counter everything in this. I'm here thinking that there's a uh, big fire oh, yeah, there we go, it's close to the last thing I'm gonna So cute in a weird way. They're, they're, like, they're not even like marching, they're basically just trotting. <laughs> Did you? Babylonia has succumbed to the continuous invasions of the Aramaeans, yet another semi-nomadic tribe from the west. The empire has been reduced to poverty, and our kings hold on to little more than their grand titles. Things are about to change, however. An Assyrian general named Tiglath-Pileser has rebelled against his king and has taken the throne. He is willing to support our new king, Nabonassar, to retake land lost to the Aramaeans, our common enemy. Nabonassar commands you to revitalize the Babylonian armies and destroy the invaders encroaching on our territory. Alright. Don't remember this one right now. Let's see how it's like. Oh, economy. Thank God for that. I have crazy how many times fishing is just the uh, way to go pretty much in these missions. Basically, if you ever see water and there's any amount of food in there, well, not any amount, but you know, at least a bit of food anyway. It's basically almost always worth docking. I thought I might got a bit unlucky with where I placed it. Oh. Too far away. Hey. 
I don't know if they actually have that much. I wonder if this is a bad idea. Pro uh, getting them in, yeah. I don't want to enrage them too much. Just on stand ground. Attacks very specific enemies. Ooh, they have a uh, chariot now. Village is made of freaking steel. All oh, houses are a thing. At least if they're chasing after this, they're not chasing after uh, anything else. Not going into my economy, that matter. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. We are friends. Come block each other, block each other. I kind of hope they'd have wheels already, but... Oh. Hmm. government set... Oh, actually, let's focus on military first. I'm hoping to avoid building a second uh, storage pit, but we're just gonna have to make do with that. Not far from the third range. Once it's the third range, things are good. Yeah. Ideally, you probably get to a fourth range as well, but. One on stone, but we don't really need much stone. How much is this? 119. It's gonna be a disaster in a couple of minutes. Oh my god, I'm a raiding party from them in a while. Because I was having enough issues with it once. That attack move on chariot archers is even more crazy than on AB2 units. Holy crap. I 
character had definitely gone a lot worse than it did, but it could also been a bit better. That was like 15 religious island for ages. for that, or fortunately for them, I guess, in some ways, we're gonna need the house. Alright, well that, let's build this. Please, that's fine. You know how many bills I lost in that process. The good news is that uh, red's basically out, and then we can just switch into mostly uh, ships. Deal with yellow. I think A2's normal priority is uh, unit attack, unit, and then villager. I could be wrong on that front. Let's 
not all the wood here, honestly. So glad ballistics is available earlier in every two. Just drive me up the wall. Oh, saved. Ah, uh, we need the four houses. I'll get this. Uh, let's put that on. Let's get this in. Okay, there we'll resign soon enough. Yeah, patrol is better on these. We need them to move a bit further. No, damn it. <laughs> In now, so I'm thinking slave chariots. I'm not sure <laughs> how feasible that's going to be, but. but for now, we'll make more chariot archers. Oh, it took a long time to repair that. I have to reset something first before I can get. Uh, oh, I actually don't. If I have the stable anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I need uh, something else before I can get Slide Chariot in. Oh, he's missing so many attacks. Let's 
the wood that's gonna kill me for that. I'll link a few of these. I forget how long this upgrade takes to get in. I wonder what will complete first. The destruction of my home or side carry? It's looking like it's going that way faster. Pretty huge upgrade though, so I get it. Finally, Babylonia has been liberated from Assyrian oppression. Civil wars, rebellions, and foreign invasions have brought the once mighty empire to its knees. The Assyrians have fallen back behind the imposing walls of their capital at Nineveh, while an army of Babylonians and Medes converge on the capital of Assyria. Destroy the wonder in Nineveh to break the power of the Assyrians indefinitely. All right, final mission. Band quickly, oh boy. Is it already up or is that in process? Oh, it's a sort of death match start. In which case, we will really focus on expansion then. Of course, they have true remains, and I am stuck with shitty galleys. Definitely gonna be an area of problems. Let's see what's over here. Oh, that's uh, not somewhere we're landing now. I think we're gonna have to. Uh, boom on this area. There's one area nearby that's completely un un uninhabited.
They just spawn as an island nearby, it's completely uninhabited. Has been a very long time since I've played this mission though. Is it this one? Assyrian defenders. Or maybe it's just that this area is a lot weaker. Mm -hmm. It could also be the case. Now they're making wall galleys, just so they start a bunch of furnace. I'm not overdo it too much in the bills at all, so. Like they're exactly uh, doing much to, to uh, attack me. Yeah. part is because we don't get good ships we basically have to make a very difficult landing without a lot going for us Quite a few villages here, and we're gonna try and transport a lunch over. Siege initially. I, how many shots is that from a regular, not so good catapult? Oh, 
That did not go as far enough. Well, not enough that they bloody will be actually fine. Let's try a uh, long instead, maybe. Do the three. Range thingy. That's the one. That one. Why I drained a bunch of extra rolls. <laughs> Every time I try to end this mission, it's a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. Hello, I can do this now. Aww. Assholes. Nice again. Let alone catapult turmoil, so it's so much easier. Mm. Let's see, I guess I've got to look up what kind of wants to. Yup. I'll look at the conscription. A little helpless. It's why there was somewhere you could do a landing that wasn't as horrendous as this one is. <laughs> I guess we just have to make a bunch of monks and then send them over or something. I'm at a loss of where to do this. Yeah. I have to go for that route. Actually, maybe this is the area. Oh, come on. Babylonian towers, so not as bad as they could be to deal with. Yet yeah, they're still freaking horrendous.
146 years. It was so well time to actually just done that. Yep. Uh, he's in. That's what happened. Yikes. <laughs> Did I not finish? I thought, damn. see how good they are against buildings and they're pretty decent I never finished the upgrade to cut up all. One of these have been sucking. Blame while they're moving to repair. Okay. Oh, they're blocking it. I think I'm intentionally blocking it. And we did it. Well that does it for the Voices of Babylon campaign, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and I'll see you soon with the next video.